Merry Christmas! Super jazzy for Christmas! Well, actually, Christmas was yesterday. I'm recording this in advance, and right now, I'm super excited for Christmas. When it actually comes to Boxing Day, which is when this episode will go out, I'll probably be completely over it and ready to pull all the decorations down. And then you have that really weird time when you've pulled all the decorations down and you think, why have I got so little furniture? Where's everything gone? Very strange. Anyway, I just hope you had the best time yesterday celebrating, hopefully with family and friends. For those of you who don't celebrate Christmas or don't enjoy Christmas, and there's a lot of people out there who don't, then I hope you had a good day, whatever you were doing. I just wanted to hop in because it's a Monday. And my commitment to the podcast is that an episode goes out every Monday, come rain or shine. That said, this is going to be a shorty. Welcome, welcome to the Heads Together podcast. I'm Jill Mokes and I am obsessed with cutting through the noise when it comes to growing your business. Each week via intimate coaching conversations and inspirational stories, I share what it really takes to get the results you want in a way that feels right to you. I am all about attracting higher ticket opportunities, building authentic relationships and creating the abundant full fat version of your dream business. I mean, how many of us have beavered away creating a light version of what we really want? The thing is, I honestly believe When you're outstanding at what you do, there is no limit to what you can achieve. So, are you ready to put our heads together and make it happen? Let's go. I'm not really going to be working between Christmas and New Year. I'm certainly not going to be doing any work on my business. I may coach with some of my clients if they want to between Christmas and New Year, because you know that I'm obsessed with putting clients first. But I certainly won't be working on my business or doing any business development work or anything like that between Christmas and New Year. I will be relaxing and eating leftover food that I would not normally touch with a barge pole. However, I thought I would just maybe give a couple of suggestions for anyone who is going to use this time between Christmas and New Year. A lot of people do. A lot of people find this dead zone between Christmas and New Year to be a really good time for working on their business without distraction. So if you fall into that camp, then good on you. You know, I can imagine this would be a really good uninterrupted time to work, especially if you're not busy doing other stuff, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, right, then you're going to have plenty of relaxed, uninterrupted time. So the first thing is, have you downloaded yet your Fix Your Money Mindset Guide? I shared about it in a previous episode recently, and I do think it dovetails really nicely with this time of year, this time of year where we're given this blank sheet of paper, it feels like anything's possible for next year, right? The clock gets reset in a few days. Just a few days time, we get to reset the clock and start a whole new year. How about if this is the year that you really master your money mindset? And start playing big. Stop limiting yourself to a realistic, light version of that full fat business that I love to talk about. So that's one thing that might be a really good thing to sort out between Christmas and New Year. Download the guide, work through it, really take some of this space to really think it through. Another thing that is great to do in that dead time between Christmas and New Year is a little bit of Marie Kondoing of your workspace and your actual business. So having a declutter, having a sort out of your environment and really kind of making it so that it's reflecting that fresh start for 2023. Wouldn't that feel good to start the new year in a really 
freshened up space. Maybe it's a case of buying some plants and getting some new stationery and just things that are going to make it feel like a fresh space. I always think that's a really nice way to start the year. But also, as well as on that surface level of decluttering, what about as you're planning next year, as you're getting ready to launch a new year in your business, what could you take out? What could you prune away to give yourself a simpler business model for next year? What are you doing that's taking up tons of time, but really isn't moving the needle in terms of business growth? Are you too busy on social media, being everywhere where potentially your clients aren't? My bugbears. You know, is this a time that you could really have a good look at how you spend your time and start making some decisions around things you could let go of for next year? And then another one that I'm just going to talk about is around consumption. So we often talk about how content creation can be difficult. You know, how many of us wrestle with creating a content calendar and, you know, coming up with topics to write about or talk about on video or podcast about? What if you took a bit of time between Christmas and New Year to really refresh what you're consuming? Because it's what you consume that really feeds what you produce. So if you maybe spend some time between Christmas and New Year researching some new voices to listen to, that doesn't mean I don't want you to tune into me anymore, of course. Don't leave me. But seriously, find some new voices to listen to. Write a list of some new authors you want to read in 2023. Look on YouTube, but look on it really strategically. Find some content creators that you really resonate with and narrow your field of consumption, but do it really intentionally. And I think, you know, just kind of bringing more intentionality to what you consume can be a huge step in the right direction when it comes to being more productive in terms of producing content. So that's the other one that I wanted you to have a think about. So this has been a very quick episode. I really seriously hope you have had a good day yesterday. I hope you're going to enjoy the rest of your time off if you're taking time off. If you're not taking time off, there are a few ways that we've talked about today that perhaps you could try to accomplish something between Christmas and New Year. Anyway. Thank you as always for being with me and Merry Christmas. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that getting our heads together this week has filled your mind with what's possible. If you love the show, would you do me a massive favour, please? Would you leave a five star rating on Apple Podcasts? It would really help me put more heads together, reach more ears and expand more minds. Until next week, bye for now.